Hello, everyone. This is uh, Stephen Kim of Healthy Expressions. I'm a relationship uh, marriage uh, coach slash counselor. Uh, this is our first ever um, Fix It Friday. It's a Q and A. Um, you know, the first one is always kind of rocky. So, um, you know, forgive me for not being as professional. That it's not as bright. Um, I'm trying to. You know, this is my first time ever being. Um, on Facebook Live in this aspect. i uh, just tell you a quick story. Um, it was funny because, you know, I started a couple of minutes late. To some people, that doesn't matter. To me, uh, you know, I'm a, a stickler for, you know, time. And, and, and so, um, you know, I was getting things ready, and then I get a call from my son, my youngest son. Uh, he's not feeling too good, so... He wanted me to come pick him up, and so I did. Um, and he not feeling well, so I had to go pick him up. And then I was looking at my clock, my um, watch the whole time, hoping that I wouldn't be late. And so I'm rushing, I'm rushing, um, and and so uh, I made it just in time. But then you know, setting things up and. Now, Facebook, they, they changed some things a little differently because uh, I made, um, you know, some videos before uh, and they changed it. So I'm like freaking out. I'm like, well, what's going on? So please bear with me. Uh, I'm trying to, um, you know, get things going. Um, and, and so I don't know. If this is going to work again, I apologize. Uh, I'm trying to get this going. Uh, I don't know if I can get you know questions, um, comments from people um, to have this Q and A. But you know, I, I think um, okay. So it says all viewers can participate in chat. So we're good to go. So I, I think. Um, if, if we can, no, how do, how do you go back to here? Okay. Um, so there we go. So I still, you know, I guess I'm the only one here. Uh, you know, that's how we start off. Um, it's I am in New Jersey and right now it's it's raining before it was like raining really hard uh, but I, I was you know I started you know doing this relationship marriage online counseling or coaching uh, for the last couple of years uh, my friends actually asked me you know why don't you do this because you're very good um, in, in you know counseling in one-on-one or one with a couple and you know I've been doing premarital marriage counseling for about 18 years um, and and so it, it's like a fish in water uh, I, I'm very I love it I love doing it um, and so I did this I started this uh, you know legally um, a couple years ago uh, as a business um, it's, it's been, you know, at times rocky, um, figuring things out, um, you know, but we'll get there. I, again, you know, uh, first time, uh, it feels a little awkward rushing, uh, but, you know, I, I want to use this platform to really help couples who are dating, who are married, um, you know, if they have any questions, if they have any concerns, I'm here to kind of help them. And if you uh, would like more help, there you could do a couple of things. You can go on my website. It's Healthy Expressions. It's one word, uh, healthyexpressions.online. And that's my website. It has all, all my info, but also it has um, a free webinar that I think it's it's called the 10 uh, healthy habits uh, in a relationship slash marriage. And so 
if you want to take a look at that, go there. Um, you know, this is a platform where I want to help couples. Um, but I think this is something that, you know, needs to be told is that, uh, you know, people think that relationships, marriages are very easy. They're not. You know, I've been married uh, for 23 years. Uh, I, I've known my wife for 26 years. Uh, it's a battle. It really is a battle uh, at times. Um, but that's how marriages are. I mean, when if you know of a couple and they are like, we never fight and, you know, I love them and they love me and things are great all the time, uh, they are lying to you. Uh, because, you know, we're, we're different people coming together, forming this one life together. And that's a struggle and that's hard. Um, so I really am challenged to really help couples with their relationship issues, their marriage issues. And the reality is, yeah, you could watch all the YouTube videos. You could you could talk to your friends and family members, but you need someone, an unbiased third party, to help you not only give you the, the tips and guidance, but also to be able to keep you accountable, to challenge you, to you know ask you those uncomfortable questions, to see that you're doing everything you can to better your relationship and marriage. And I think that... Um, a lot of these couples, they don't have that because they want that appearance that everything is, is perfect. You know, we live in a society where, you know, social media, we want people, even people we don't know, uh, to, to deem that we're happy, that everything is going well, that our relationship and marriage is spectacular, um, but that's false. And I usually tell couples, let's be honest. Let's be honest first with yourself and secondly with the other person that you're in this relationship with. That honesty is talking about, do I really care about this relationship? Do I really care about this marriage? Do I really care about the other person? Am I willing to do whatever it takes to keep us together, to keep this marriage together? And we, we, we're dishonest with ourselves. We're like, okay, yeah, I do. But in honesty, we don't. Because it's hard. It's hard work. And I'm here to help any couple dating, living together, uh, engaged, married in their relationship. Because I wish, you know, growing up, and dating my wife at that time, I wish I had some guidance to help me to understand the other person, to understand myself, and to better handle the relationship and the responsibilities that come with it. So every Friday, I will be doing this from hopefully 12 to 1. Uh, I don't know about today because... Um, you know, no one has, has come aboard, come on to ask any questions, and that's fine, right? Uh, just starting out, we're trying to get there, uh, but I want to be here to help all couples uh, in their relationship issues. Um, so I, I think what how we want to do this is that every Friday from 12 to 1, uh, people come on and they ask a question and I'll try to answer it uh, but again that one question that one answer is not going to solve all your issues in your relationship and marriage and so um, you know, again I don't know what the etiquette is in terms of doing these live videos I think sometimes I'm horrible at these things. Um, I'm not trying to present that everything is polished and good. I, I'm still trying to understand all this. 
um, with the technology, with, with you know, uh, being able to look straight into the camera. Uh, you know, I, at times I get a little anxious. Um, so that's why there's a cup of water uh, that I drink. But, uh, you know, uh, I'm hoping that this will gain some traction and that some people would really value this time. Um, what I usually tell couples is that there's three things that you must have in your relationship. Three things. One is trust. You must have that trust in the relationship. Trust not, not only trusting that the other person will be faithful to you, but trusting that they will be there through thick and thin. That no matter what you're going through, they will be there. They got your back. You don't have to worry that if they're going to be there or not. So that must, that first thing must be in your relationship. Second thing is forgiveness. If you cannot forgive uh, those people, uh, and you know there are, are countless things that you cannot forgive the other person in the relationship or marriage. Maybe they uh, said some nasty things to you. Maybe, and it's been going on for, for a long time. Maybe they actually physically did something. If you are, let me say this, preference this, if you are in physical harm, you're fearful of your life, I would get out of it. I think that is the only thing that I would say to get out of a relationship and marriage. That you should try everything you can to make it work. And that one thing is if you feel like you are, your life is at risk. And that also means that if there, if you're in a marriage and there's infidelity, there's still an opportunity to salvage that marriage. I mean, it's going to take some time and effort on both sides for healing, but I believe that it's possible. I've been in the process of helping a lot of couples that have gone through infidelity and they're getting through an inf a lot of pain, a lot of difficult time. But if both people are willing to forgive, both people are willing to say, okay, I want to go forward, then we have, got, we have a very good shot in salvaging that relationship and marriage. But there has to be forgiveness. And I tell this to all couples, if there is no forgiveness, there will be a slow resentment and cynicism, not only to that other person that you're dating or married to, but also um, with life in general, you'll start to become very resentful and cynical. So if that a person is, wants to change, they want to you know, really love uh, you and wanting to really uh, spur that relationship, that marriage into a better situation, because you haven't really forgiven them, you will be very cynical toward them. You will start to think in your mind, maybe you may not say it out loud, they're going to go back to their old ways. This is not going to last. Or you don't trust them. You have to forgive them. You have to forgive them. If not, then you will never trust them. You will never, never deem adequate in your standards that the other person is trying and doing everything they can To love you and to better the relationship so forgive and there is no person that I've ever met or known or heard of that is perfect part of the reason why your relationship and marriage is in a funk or in a bad situation right now is because it's not just the other person it's you you also and I think the first step of your relationship and marriage getting better is if you decide yeah I'm part of the problem but I also want to be part of the solution you that's the first step it's not just the other person it's also you 
And so if you really honestly, and again, going back to the honesty part for yourself is, do you really want to salvage the relationship slash marriage? Because it will take a lot of effort, work, and time into it, but it's possible. It's really possible. So if you are willing, if you realize that you're part of the problem also, things can change and get tremendously better. I, I've dealt and worked with couples where they are, one or both of them are dragging their feet. They're co constantly pointing the finger at the other person saying, this is why, you know, I react. This is why. But they've never said, well, part of it is my, my fault as well. But then I get couples who both of them at the onslaught or, or in the very beginning, they say, yeah, we both realize that we're the problem, both of us, and we want to work in this relationship to make it better. So I really think that once both the people in the relationship realize that, then it's smooth sailing. It is, we can work on it, we can build some new habits and tools to make yourself and the relationship slash marriage better. So first, you must have trust. Second, you must have forgiveness in the relationship. And third, you must have patience. This is my biggest Achilles heel. I'm very impatient. I want things now. But I think a lot of people are like that as well. You know, some people believe, and this is ludicrous, when sometimes I do talk to couples for that instant, you know, that first phone consultation. And some of them have said, we only need a session or two and everything will be fine. No, it will not. It has taken years to build bad habits in you in us as people, even before we've met or dated that other person. And so I think you have to realize there's no quick fix. There's no button that you can push that everything magically will be get better. But it is a constant journey together, overcoming your bad habits, gaining new positive healthy tools to make your relationship healthy and strong. I cannot emphasize that enough. It will take discipline, time, and effort on both sides. And you must be patient. You must be patient, not only toward the other person, but also within yourself. So those three things you must have in your relationship so that it can not be a perfect relationship or marriage because that doesn't exist. That exists with unicorns and rainbows and little leprechauns. There is no perfect marriage. There is no perfect relationship, but there are healthy marriages, healthy relationships. Many of us are very unhealthy. Mentally or emotionally, we're very unhealthy. I'm not saying that there's some, some psychological thing that's wrong with us, but we think certain things. They need to be changed. We feel certain things, and they need to be changed. And so, you know, those three things, trust, forgiveness, and patience, must be in your relationship or marriage to be healthy. You know, um, 
I don't know, again, um, if anyone will come on. Hopefully they will. Hopefully, you know, this loads up onto my Facebook uh, Healthy Expressions page that somebody will be watching it and might spur something on and they say, I want to make my relationship or marriage better. I need to fix it. I want you to contact me. You can maybe put it on the comment section here or you can go onto my website, Healthy Expressions, one word, healthyexpressions.online and you could leave your information and I'll contact you. But this is a, a something on Fridays, a free thing for people to ask questions. And for many of us couples, we've had a lot of questions about our relationship. No one is a, even myself, I'm not a relationship and marriage expert. But I do know a lot of things and I've been doing this for a long time. And I, the word guarantee scares me because there's nothing that is guaranteed right or maybe some people say death and taxes but if you are willing to work with me and both of you are wanting to fix your relationship and fix yourselves it's it's possible very possible we can do this together and so i you know i i want to leave you with that um you know, I, I don't think anyone has come on so far. Um, I mean, I could talk for this whole hour, uh, but I want to, you know, th this hour is, was for to answer questions. And because, you know, the first time ever, you know, first video, first Facebook Live event, no one's on, so I can't answer any questions. Uh, but this is not discouraging to me. This is actually exciting. And I hope that uh, you take that step forward and we can start working together to better your relationship, better your marriage, and also better your family if you have kids. You know, I think uh, just to let everyone know, I'm in New Jersey and the average cost of getting a divorce is about thirty to forty thousand dollars. That's the average. And even if you're not married, you've been living together for a while. I mean, you still have to kind of divide the assets or divide whatever stuff that you accumulated over those years. But at the same time, if you have kids, it's a psychological, emotional trauma on them. I want to help you. I want to help you not to get a divorce. I want to help you not to split up. And so if you're curious, reach out to me and we'll get things going. And uh, I think that's it. I think, you know, half an hour is good enough for the first time. Uh, again, check out my website, healthyexpressions.online. Uh, free webinar, all my information, um, but let's let's do this. Um, I know that's a crazy goal, but one of my goals is, in my head is to, I know that they say that divorce is like close to 50%. I want to at least in my lifetime kind of lower that percentage, maybe to one, I don't know, maybe to half a point. But I want to do that. That's one of my goals. And so I want you to have a great weekend. Uh, I hope um, you, you get a chance to talk and spend good quality time with your significant other. And that maybe you guys will watch this uh, video together and then decide, hey, let's, let's at least get on the phone with this guy and see what uh, he can do and go from there. But please don't hesitate. If you really want to keep your relationship or marriage intact or to make it healthier or to fix some things, please reach out to me. So have a great weekend and I'll talk to you later. I'll see you later. Bye.